Meantime, uh, we have some news just out crossing uh, Coinbase, the cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, let's get to Leslie Picker, who's got the details. Leslie. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, they filed their S-1 this morning for a direct listing date TBD. Uh, but some really fascinating uh, details in this filing. Uh, they showed that revenue in 2020 increased about 136 percent uh, over a billion dollars in revenue. So more than doubling in 2020. Most of that revenue stemming from transaction fees. Also net income positive showing in 2020 322 million dollars in net income. Uh, they said that they had 43 million retail users, 7,000 institutions uh, on their cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, other details about the transaction. They will be uh, debuting with two classes of stocks set to list on the NASDAQ. Uh, the filing has a, a bunch of kind of fun, interesting aspects to it. They, you know, normally on the front page, they'll copy, uh, they'll say that they're copying, you know, general counsel, they're copying executives uh, from the company. Uh, in this one in particular, they also had a copy to Satoshi Nakamoto, who, of course, is the uh, is the pseudonym for the founder of Bitcoin. So kind of a fun thing there. Uh, also, a letter from Brian Armstrong, where he talks about, that's the CEO of the company, talking about economic freedom and what Coinbase can offer for people who are interested uh, in cryptocurrency. For those who are less well-versed in the world of cryptocurrency, they do include a global glossary of terms so that uh, people can get up to speed. Uh, also, um, you know, they have some aspects to their risk factors. Uh, they mentioned that cryptocurrency, of course, is highly volatile several times uh, in their S1. That is the number one risk factor in their prospectus, the fact that uh, cryptocurrency can be highly volatile. They also talk about how regulation could be a key risk factor here. Guys. They talk about, sec they talk about security as a risk factor? I've always thought that that, I, I especially... I do believe they... Yeah. Cybersecurity as a risk factor. Uh, I do believe they do. I'm still going through all of those risk factors now, but um, that's usually pretty standard in pretty much every technology company to have a cybersecurity component to the risk factor. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.